Good. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Hello, everyone. I am Miss Nina Town Councilwoman Denise Murphy McGraw. I am joined here today by our town supervisor, Yasmin Syed. And we are thrilled and honored to be celebrating Arbor Day in Niskayuna today. Uh, earlier today, we gave out almost 200 seedlings to residents um, throughout the community. We're hoping that they will go home this afternoon and plan a family-friendly, fun, but socially distant event together. With The weather certainly cooperated. Um, the supervisor took care of the weather, so I think that we are in great shape. Um, we are thrilled, and if anybody else had questions about their seedling or questions about the program, our town planner, Laura Robertson, can be contacted at lrobertson at niskiuna.org. Also, if you have pictures while your family is planting your tree or you're planting your tree, please share those with our town planner, Laura Robertson, as well, because we, do, we certainly want to see those, and we're going to put them up on our Tree Council website. Um, and try to really um, support the folks who are doing things in this community, but also celebrate our community. Planting trees certainly makes our town more livable, more attractive, and the kind of place that we all want to live. So thank you to our tree council, and we can find them at www.niskiunatreecouncil.org. And don't forget, tell us what kind of tree you planted. So today we have a fun live stream planned for everyone. We have, we're gonna do a tree planting. We're gonna do one here. The supervisor has a proclamation for everyone involved. Um, we're gonna even tell some jokes. We're gonna read books. We're gonna do all of those things. So behind me is a sourwood tree that's being planted. And the <clears throat> town highway department and parks department is going to help with that. But before I hand it over to Carol Perry, the chairwoman of the tree council, I have a joke. I get the first joke. Why do trees hate riddles? Because it's too easy to get stumped. <laughs> On that note, Carol, I'll hand it over to you. Thank you, Denise. And hi, everyone. I wanted to just tell you a little bit about the sourwood tree that we're going to plant today that you'll see in the background there. So the sourwood tree is a really very beautiful tree that offers year round interest. They grow about 30 feet tall and they have leaves that are bronze tinted in the spring. And then they turn a very bright green in the summer and then they turn a brilliant red in the fall. And in the summer, they also have creamy white, very fragrant, fragrant flowers on drooping stalks that kind of look like lilies of the valley, the flowers do. This, this tree is a great pollinator tree and the nectar from this tree is used by trees to, are, are used by bees to produce highly prized honey. And it can live to be about 100 to 200 years old. So I think our highway department is starting to get ready to plant the, the town of Niskayuna sourwood tree. And as they plant the tree, Supervisor Syed is going to read the town board proclamation for Arbor Day. But first, I have a joke. What happens to trees on Valentine's Day? They get sappy. <laughs> so with that, Yasmin, it's... Thanks, Carol. So I'm joined here today uh, with the rest of you by our highway department. They're gonna be planting our tree, our sourwood tree. So everyone say hello to our highway department. Thank you all for joining us here today. <laughs> so while they begin planting the tree, I'm going to read our proclamation. So this is a resolution recognizing Arbor Day. Be it enacted by the town board of the town of Nestuna as follows. Whereas in 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside for the planting of trees. And whereas this holiday called Arbor Day was first observed with the planting of more than 1 million trees in Nebraska, and whereas Arbor Day is now observed throughout the nation and the world, and in 2020, Arbor Day will be observed in this year on April 25th. And whereas trees are important because they take in carbon dioxide, intercept airborne partic particulates, and reduce smog, enhancing a community's respiratory health and helping to mitigate climate change. 
And whereas trees release oxygen and one large tree can provide a day's supply of oxygen for up to four people. And whereas trees provide food and an apple tree can yield up to 15 to 20 bushels of fruit per year and can be planted on the tiniest urban lot. And whereas trees heal people and studies have shown that patients with views of trees out their windows heal faster and with less complications. And whereas trees provide many economic benefits to their community, including homes, landscapes with trees sell more quickly and are worth five to 15% more than homes without trees. And when the entire street is tree lined, homes may be worth 25% more. And whereas trees help moderate temperatures by creating a cooling effect, which can counteract the heating effect of pavement and buildings in an urban or suburban environment. Whereas trees, whether they are planted, wherever they are planted, are a source of joy and spiritual renewal. And whereas this year, the town of Nisuna will be planting a sourwood tree that you see here in honor of Arbor Day on the town green at the Edwin D. Riley Jr. Nisuna Town Hall. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the members of the Nisuna Town Board hereby encourages its residents, businesses, and institutions to celebrate Arbor Day and to support efforts to protect our trees and woodlands and further encourages all citizens to plant trees to enhance our community and to celebrate Arbor Day in Nisuna on April 25th, 2020. So with that said, uh, we do again want to thank our highway crew for all of their hard work every single day and especially today for making this day possible and for planting our trees. We have a lot more trees to plant. We want to put as many as we can around Town Hall, most especially to memorialize all of the hope and acts of good faith in our community. And as a symbol of remembrance during this time of crisis and this current pandemic for all the lives lost here in Schenectady County due to COVID-19. So with that said, um, before I read it over to Laura, who's gonna share a very uh, special story for us, I have a joke. How does a tree get on the internet? They log on. <laughs> so with that, Laura. Okay, everybody. My name's Laura Robertson. I have a six-year-old that goes to Glencliff. What school do you go to? I'm going to read you a story called The Big Bear Hug. It's a story about loving trees and giving hugs, two things I enjoy very much and highly recommend to everyone. Um, here it is. Big Bear Hug. Big Bear Hug. Oops, sorry by Nicholas Oland. There once was a bear so filled with love and happiness that whenever he roamed the forest and came across another living thing, he would give it a hug. Everywhere he wandered, the bear shared his love, hug by hug. He even hugged creatures that bears have been known to eat. This bear could meet the roundest, littlest rabbit and would just stop, smile, and give it a great big hug. Can you guys see that rabbit? I think he might be a little nervous. No animal was too big. What's he hugging there? <clears throat> too small, too smelly, or too scary to hug. I'm not sure I would hug a snake, but maybe. But what this bear loved to hug the most were trees. Me too. The bear never met a tree he did not like. Big trees. Small trees. You guys see these little ones? This is like what you picked up for Arbor Day today. Apple trees, pear trees, peach trees. This bear hugged them all. One day, while the bear was trying to hug a beaver and a tree at the same time, not sure how that was going for the beaver, um, he noticed a man with an ax walking into the forest. Uh -oh. 
The bear followed the man until he stopped at one of the tallest, oldest, and most beautiful trees in the forest. This, the man spent so much time looking at this magnificent tree that the bear thought he must love trees too. Do you think that's why he's looking at the tree? But to the bear's horror, the man started to chop the tree down. For the first time in his life, the bear didn't feel like hugging at all. How did he look? Not happy. But, but, just as he was about to sink his teeth into the man, the bear stopped. He realized that no matter how angry he was, he simply could not eat the man. It just wasn't his nature. The bear sighed, and then he decided to do what he did best. What do you think that is? He gave the man a big hug. The man was not used to getting real big bear hugs. So once the bear let go, the man dropped his ax and ran far, far away. And do you know what the bear did next? What do you think? The bear smiled and gave the tree a great big hug. The tree felt much better. So everybody get out there and hug their tree today. Just remember, <coughs> I'm going to turn it over to Julie Lohr, who you might all recognize. Um, before I do that, what type of trees like to give high fives? Palm trees. Julie's got a video here that I'm gonna load. community programs department and uh, today I'm going to just show you a craft that you can do out in your yard to celebrate Arbor Day. We're going to make some tree bark rubbings. All you need for this is some paper and some crayons. Uh, I took the paper off of my crayons. Uh, this is a great way to use up old crayons, uh, colors you don't like. Uh, but all you need to do is take your piece of paper and we're going to find a tree in your yard that has an interesting pattern on it. And we're going to take our crayon, take our paper up against the tree. And using the side of our crayon, we are going to make, um, just rub it up and down on your paper. Um, you can throw another color in there. Um, and um, it just makes a really interesting pattern uh, that is only found in paper. So uh, you can use the tree bark rubbings as um, the background for some greeting cards that you can make, uh, or you can just use them as designs. You can use all the different rainbow colors and make a 518 rainbow um, picture. But uh, it's just a really fun craft to get you out in your yard and celebrating Arbor Day. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Now we're going to turn over to Melissa McKinnon, who is from the Tree Council. And Melissa is going to um, blend Arbor Day with Poetry Month, and she's going to read a poem on Trails of Trees. But first, what is a tree's favorite drink? Root beer. That's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> All right. Hello. Thank you. So, what I wanted to share are words from the perspective of a tree written by R.R. R. Tolkien. Ent. When spring unfolds the beech and leaf and sap is in the bough, when light is on the wildwood stream and wind is on the brow, when stride is long and breath is deep, and keen the mountain air, come back to me, come back to me, and say my land is fair. So remember everyone, we included a tree activity book in your Arbor Day take home kit. 
And maybe you could even write something from the perspective of your tree that you got today. And then if you've hung in there this long, you are amazing, thank you. We are going to nest, next test your knowledge with a quick tree quiz to see how much you know about the benefits of trees. But first, a joke. What's a tree's favorite subject in school? Geometry. All right, over to you, Councilwoman Jaquith. Hi, everybody. I'm going to read you the question and answer choices and give you a second to shout out the answer. Keep track of your scores and let's see how well you do. First question. Trees can absorb sound and therefore can reduce noise pollution by as much as A, 5%, B, 20%, or C, 40%. The answer is... 40%. Next question. Landscaping with trees can increase property values by as much as A, 10%, B, 15%, or C, 20%. Answer, 20%. All right, true or false? Studies have shown that exercising in forests and spending time around trees can reduce blood pressure as well as reduce stress. True. Next question. Evergreen trees can be used to reduce wind speed and thus loss of heat from your home in the winter by as much as A, 10%, B, 25%, C, 50%, or D, 100%? Answer, 50%. All right, uh, during one year, how many pounds of carbon will a mature tree absorb? This helps with climate change. A, 25 pounds, B, 50 pounds, or C, 75 pounds? The answer is 75 pounds of carbon. All right, last question. True or false? The planting of trees means improved water quality, resulti resulting in less runoff and erosion. That is true. All right, if you got all six of those questions right, you are a tree genius. If you only got a few right, don't worry. There's lots to learn about trees. Thanks for playing along. And that concludes our Arbor Day for today. Stay strong out there, everybody. We're all in this together. Don't forget to water your tree. And if you're feeling down, go out into the trees and let nature be your guide. And remember, the greatest oak was once a little nut who held its ground. Carol? Hi, everyone. Well, thanks for joining us today for Arbor Day. And I want to thank Supervisor Syed and the town board and the highway department for all participating to make this a success. And I hope you, you are going to go out and plant a tree or hug a tree or do a tree rubbing and enjoy Arbor Day today. And with that, we're going to sign off with Laura is going to play the tree song. Thanks, everyone. Have a great Arbor Day 2020. Bye bye. No, I want to do it. Okay. Here we go, ready? And. Okay. You're going to see us? Yep. Oops. Branches leaves. Branches leaves. Okay. Branches leaves. <laughs> Trees, 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 trees,
Stop the live stream.